Welcome and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on Jesus as the seed that brought us life. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Put to one side the events of today as you ease out the tension in your body. Come now, as you are, to hear the word of the Lord. This is the place to be still before God, allowing him to fill you with his awesome presence and infinite love. Creator God, you made the earth and filled it with your goodness and your glory. You made me too, and I pray you would reveal your life in me. Jesus says in John 12:23 to 24, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Put an apple seed in the ground and you'll get an apple tree. Each apple that tree produces will hold lots of new seeds. The first tiny seed could produce a whole forest of trees with unlimited supplies of new seeds. All that potential, all that energy, all the blueprints and structure, all of it is housed within one seed. And this is all according to God's design for his creation. When we put a little seed into the ground, we aren't just burying, we are planting. We don't grieve because it is dying and being buried. We plant it in expectation of life and growth and harvest. As he approached the cross, this is also the way Jesus described his death. Like a seed, full of life and fruit, Jesus was buried in the ground. Then three days later, the Bible tells us he was raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Then, fifty days later, at Pentecost, the church was born. Like a fruitful seed, Jesus, by his own death, produced many others after his own kind. We are among the many seeds that have grown out of the ultimate seed, Jesus. As we drift away to sleep tonight, let's remind ourselves that we have grown out of the greatest seed ever sown. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our Almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in and out and in and out. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for going to the cross to give me and your church new life. 
and for giving me the power to share this life with others through your word. Help me to be an extension of you. Lord God, live your life through me. Transform me more and more to be a person after your own kind. One Corinthians fifteen twenty to twenty two says, Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that in Jesus I am made truly alive. I am a new creation, renewed with his life, his spirit, his DNA. When life is hard and I'm struggling to find my way, help me to remember the great joy and privilege of having Jesus live in me. I put my faith in his plans for me. Amen.